Hello? Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 you and you and and you and you and you. Oh, and you. Oh, oh, and you. <laughs> and you in the back, you in the back. Hey, 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 everybody. What is going on? My name is Gavis Bettle, Jester of Guild Tempest, and I feel a little sick. I feel slightly ill. Guys, I'm kind, kind, kind uh, let me, okay. Can I level with you? Let me level with you. I'm gonna level with you. You know what? I'm just gonna level with you. Guys, I can't do two streams in one day right now. I'm, di I'm, I'm going, I, I'll, I'll die. I'll die. I need, I, maybe, okay, maybe Sunday. I need to keep, I'm gonna keep pushing the super chat reading until, I'm, I'm dying right now. I need to, I need to adjust. I need to adjust. All right. So you just you just just consider this week of me easing in back into the content until I can start doing more things. Cause right now, uh, right now I'm a little dead. I'm a little dead. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a little. It's it's like I'm not I'm not like lacking energy or anything. It's just like it's hard. It's hard. I got a lot going on. I'm a busy guy. You know that. I'm, I'm a freaking busy guy. You know what else is awesome? Sorry, I did, I couldn't find a segue. Uh, Lynn. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Jesticles. Thank you. Yvette Thanatos, thank you for five gifted. I love mode, thank you for five gifted. Perredo Lee with the, the with the snipes. Reverie. I love mode. Rats in a cage. Greardy Major. Horse Appreciator. Ella Eves. Lion. King Sophie. Dowski, thank you so much for the support. Appreciate it. All of you pre-chats in the pre-chat. Guys, today we're doing tier lists. My name is Gavis Bettle. I'm Gavis Bettle. Flayon. You're so funny. Please insult us. Shut the fuck up. Oh, no. I gave him what he wanted. I walked right into his little, his fucked up little trap. Fuck you! Hey! Fuck you! Guys, tier list today. Are we excited? Are we excited to do a tier list? I sure am. I am the most excited. Okay, can we, should we address the, uh, the issue here? Should we, should we address the issue? What the fuck is that? What are the... Listen, Flayon. Listen here. I didn't know the size of the images, okay? Is that a crap? I don't know. Maybe it's because it's so well drawn, you could, you could just tell already. It looks like a shrimp. No, bro. This is the shrimp. Listen. I couldn't use... I couldn't use images from Google because they're all like from different places and then I didn't have to get the permissions for that. So I had to draw them all. And I woke up this morning and it took me two hours to draw 53 image images of food. And guess what? They didn't even fucking resize properly. So now it just looks like, what do you think this is?
What do you think this is? We'll, we'll get there. Guys, this tier list, I want there to be a topic of debate, okay? I want there to be hands, fists, fists flying. Fists, fists flying, anger. I want there to be anger. Nobody tell them about the Creative Commons option. What? What? I want that crab tattooed on my fish leg. Trip my beloved. Wait, what do you mean creative? Can I? You can filter? Wait, what? I could have filtered. I didn't have to do this. This took me two hours. This was half my day. So far, half my morning. All right, first of all, I'm going to arrange these all into their... We'll start with fruits. So we're just going to go over here and sort the fruits out properly. So is that avocado of... I don't know. Um, did I put any more fruits here? Fruits. Oh, I didn't do a whole lot. 50's not looking like a lot right now. I feel like this stream's going to be fucking five minutes long. Maybe we'll do that super... We'll see. Avocado is a fruit. No, it's not. Seeds equals fruit. Okay, explain peppers. Explain peppers then. Seeds mean fruit. Explain peppers. If you say peppers are a fruit, I'm going to strangle you. No, they're not. No, they're not. Nope. Nope. Peppers are going in the vegetable. Well, okay, cucumber? You're saying you're gonna say cucumber is a fruit then? Cucumber is a fruit then, huh? Oh, no, okay. We just take the cucumber and put it in the fruit section. With the fucking peppers. What a bunch of bullshit. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay, I'm sorting the vegetables out now. Because I got the fruits out of the way. Got the fruits out of the way. All, all those peppers I had to fucking... Kidding me. This is some bullshit. And you know it. I'm being trolled this very instant. What the? I don't even know what I drew. Look at this shit. Horrifying. Horrifying creations of evil. Fucking pepper is a fruit. That's the dumbest thing I've heard all day. By 6,000 miles. Hang on. Hold on, hold on. I'm busy. Hold on, I'm so busy right now. Hang on, I'm so busy. Okay. <sighs> yeah, it is. You already pissed me off. What's that pink thing? Uh, maybe if you watch the stream, uh, Flayon, uh, maybe if you watch the freaking stream, you'll know what it is soon enough. Gosh. We got places to be? Oh, you're such a busy guy, aren't you? It looks like a pig? Maybe because it is! You ever think about that? <laughs> My art is good. And I will not be harassed. Alright, so looking at this, this does not look like a lot, but maybe I can really just milk it for time. I'm getting a little scared. But, you know, we're, we're all here for Bettle's great food takes. Uh, considering I know you guys all agree with me already. We'll do, I just want to start here with the humble. The humble pair. Okay. The humble pair. We don't have P for pair. Which is where I'd put it, because P would be below F. Pear, in, in, you know, in Bettle terms, pear is shitty apple is what I'd like to call pear. Pear is shitty apple. 
and it's not, and you can't tell me otherwise it's like apple but shittier and let me tell you we'll get to apple in a little bit i mean how can i am i am i, am I wrong am i wrong fire duck i selena sukiko thank you off to a bad start now i do like the shape of the pair i do like the look at the shape of the pair damn am i right damn but the rest of the pair no good no good are there different kinds of pairs like what color like is there like a yellow pair no there's not and next thing you're gonna tell me that pepper is a fruit <laughs> give me a fucking break there's a yellow sweet pear. It's very apple-like, but shittier, right? Sir, put the pear down. I did. I put it right here in D. Put it right here in D, which is the worst. Actually, you know what? Can I make another tier? Can I make another? Ooh. Uh, add row below. Okay. Uh, and we'll call it inedible <laughs> and we need to make it a different color we'll make it pink inedible um pear will not go in inedible if someone handed me a pear i would say something along the lines of um you disgusting why is this in your home and why have you offered it to me and you will have to force feed me it but that does not make it inedible because okay like actually maybe it is inedible if someone put a bowl of pears in front of me i wouldn't eat it i'm gonna keep it in d just because of that shape look at the shape of that pear damn look at the shape of that pear blue man says no thank you if someone put because here's the thing They give you a bowl of pears. First of all, who the fuck does that? Second of all, I would never eat a pear. It, it might be an edible. Mm. Mm. It might be an edible. Nope, nope. The shape, the shape. We have to, we have to stand true to our, our instincts. Okay, that's enough of pear talk. But it was based on this one. Thank you. Thank you so much. I agree. Now. We have app. Um, tomato. I think this is a tomato. Uh, we have tomato. Okay. We have tomato. Um. Now here's the thing of tomatoes. Um, they're horrible. <laughs> Guys, I'm swear, I swear this will get better. I swear this will get better a little bit more, a little bit more interesting, but for, we're starting off pretty strong. Um, tomatoes are really bad, and I don't think they have any redeeming quality. They're so bad that you guys just decide to throw them at me. You wouldn't be throwing apples at me. You wouldn't be throwing pears at me because you would eat that. A tomato is so bad that it has no other use than to be thrown at somebody else when you think something is shit. That is a tomato, and that is the... That is absolute proof of what a tomato should be used for. Because think about it. When you see something horrible and you go, this is horrible. You know, you could throw knives or like bowling balls, but you decide to throw a tomato. Why was a tomato a universal thing to be thrown at somebody for when something is bad? Because a tomato serves no other fucking purpose than to be terrible and taste like shit. That's what a tomato is. And then someone's got to go, ooh, ketchup. And? And? I'm sorry. Is ketchup good? No! It's not. It's not. I saw a tweet the other day that said, oh, you, you have no ketchup. What do you put on your fries? Uh, nothing. It, sh it could have said, you have ketchup. Do you put on your fries? The answer is no. No. Fries along with salt 
And that is it. I'm about to lose so many fucking people today. So are we watching a three-year-old? Here's another thing. You you guys and your fucking... I'm here for... I'm out, I'm out for blood today. You guys and your fucking elitist opinions. This is my opinion. But suddenly, if someone doesn't like to eat apple, you're a baby. I'm an adult. I eat food. Give me a fucking break. An adult can eat whatever the fuck they want. Because you know why? Because I can go to the grocery store and decide what I want to eat. Frankly, the fact that I can eat chicken tender and candy and cake all day of my life, that's more adult than it is being a child because as a child, you were forced to eat the things that your parents decided on. But as an adult, nothing holds you back. So don't tell me. Don't tell me that, you know, I'm a child for not liking a vegetable or a fruit. You come, you come to me. You come to me in my home. My home! And you tell me that I can't have an opinion on the food that I eat in my home. <laughs> the man who knocks. And then and then everyone's like offended. They're like, oh well, you you eat you don't like you don't like fucking space alien plant food from Glypton 6? All the adults are eating it. No. Sorry. But guess what? I'm not harming you with it. I'm not harming you with it. I I am deciding based off my own taste, but then, you know, suddenly you're a baby. Pathetic. What are you, five? I have put two things on here, by the way. How are we already at what are you, five? Just because I don't eat pears and I don't like tomatoes, suddenly I'm a fucking five-year-old? How is that? Is this the defining traits of a fucking adult? Oh, well, you gotta eat your pears. You guys on your fucking high horse acting all high and mighty as if you eat a pear every day. Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Everyone, everyone, everyone suddenly is the goddamn epitome of health. On their, on their, on their high towers looking down on the people that decide to eat a chicken tender instead. Oh, well, you eat a chicken tender. Well, then must be a fucking baby because he's not eating chicken breast. You may be sick. Anyway, let's continue. Oh, here's apples. Here we go, guys. Apples. Now, we can't... Now, here we go. Now, now it's an argument, right? Now it's... Because, listen, apples aren't bad. I like apples with peanut butter. Oh, he's a fucking infant child. You have to eat things plain, and you need to drink your coffee black, and you need to... What do you mean, What? What do you mean, what? Hold on, hold on a second. What do you mean, what? Apples with peanut butter is not like a foreign con- That's not like a concept that like no one's heard of. Am I crazy? I've never heard of that? What? Me? Wait, wait, what? That is so normal. Just wait till I tell you about ants on a log. <laughs> we'll get there. Um, apples with peanut butter. Now listen, there's a lot going on with this pear. The shape of it, bam. Man, it's, it's doing a lot of heavy lifting. But an apple tastes better than a pear. Not by much. But I, I don't do pears with peanut butter. I do apples with peanut butter. You get like those... Um, I see... it. Here's the thing, I, I, I eat with my eyes. I see something that looks appealing and I want to eat it, but maybe it doesn't taste as good as it looks. That's an apple. An apple looks a thousand times better than it looks, especially the red delicious apples. You see the red delicious apples in the in the, in the in the grocery store and you're like, oh man, that looks so good. And then you taste it and it's like, yeah, you know what? That wasn't great. 
But then you get the yellow apple that looks more unassuming. It's not as it's not as interesting, but it's way better. It's way better than the red delicious apple. And by the way, stop saying that stop choosing to say that the apple is delicious. I hate the name red delicious apple. Let me decide if it's delicious. You ever thought about that? Let me decide. Because to me, it's the red disgusting apple. It's the red atrocious apple. But the yellow apple, so we're just gonna classify all apples. So, you know, it goes up, it goes up. Yellow apple, it's got that sourness to it, not bad. But then red delicious apple comes in and it's like, bam, it's shit again. But green apple comes in, green apple comes in with the clutch. Boom, back to C, back to C, the high ranking of C. Well done, well done apples. Well done apples, high ranking of C. No, but that might be the highest rank. Oh, well, we'll see. We'll see. Green apple's good. It's artificial flavor, even better. Am I wrong? You say, am I, a, am I a baby for not liking the red delicious apple? Do I look like a middle school teacher to you? Do I look like I have a PhD? No, then I do not need to be partaking in red delicious apples. That is fact, that is law in battle world. But yellow and green apple, what are those? Oh, Fiji apples? Is that what they're called? Fiji apples? Those might be even better. Now, will I go out of my way to buy an apple? Absolutely not. What am I, crazy? Oh, Fuji. Fuji apples. Fuji apples. Sorry, I was thinking about Fiji water. I think Fuji apples are good, too. But when I... Listen, this is all this is all like in its own little bubble in, in a universe where I would eat an apple. I've I, you know, I've partaken. I've dabbled um, in an apple or two. Don't want to brag, but yeah, you know, give or take. I've had an apple in my lifetime once or twice. Now, let me raise you this. This is not on the list, but we can we can we can negotiate. Apples juice. Apple juice. Out of the fruit juices, which is the best? Orange juice? Apples juice? Lemon, uh, le lemonade? Le lemon juice? The answer may shock you. I think they're all S tier. I love lemonade. I love apple juice and I love orange juice. I think they're all equally comparable. Orange juice may go down a little bit. If it has if it has pulp, it's it's inedible. It's inedible. But if it doesn't have pulp, it's all they're all they're all together. They're all together. Cranberry juice? Sorry, it's not Thanksgiving. Let me tell you something about Thanksgiving. Let me tell you something about Thanksgiving. That is all the food suck. Oh, we have this banquet of food, all this food, look at all this food we made, and all of it stinks. Emma, thanks so much for the upgrade. Sorry I called you out earlier. We're just having fun here. Why does all the food stink on Thanksgiving? Well, we'll get to Thanksgiving, actually. Let's hold off. Also, grape juice, not bad. But also, is it better than apple juice, orange juice, or um, lemonade or lemon juice? No, I don't think so. I, I think it goes down by one. It goes down by one. Crunchy mic. Dude, I'm having a buzzing problem. This is what happened when I had to go get that new cord. Is it gone? 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 Now listen, I think the grape juice is good. There's like God tier grape juice. No one would understand. I don't know if anyone's done like, you know, communion when they were like a child. They would hand you the grape juice. The best thing you ever taste in your entire life. The best thing you ever taste in your entire life because you're a kid, you know, you can't drink like, you know, wine or whatever. You ever drink the fucking communion grape juice? What's going on with that? That's just crazy. 
Bro, I went crazy on that. <laughs> Dude, Haka, like at grocery stores, they should sell something called communion juice. And it's like, it's it, it's just the feeling you got when you had that juice as a kid. And it comes in little cups. Wouldn't that be fucking crazy? It'd be crazy. For holy men like you. Yes. Mike buzzing again. Dude, I don't know what to do. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Let me try something here. Let me try something here. I fixed it the other day. It might buzz off and on. There we go. And then like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. Test, test, test. Hello, 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 hello. Better? Good? We good? It might happen again, but I'll ignore it. All right. So, communion grape juice. Anyway, we 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 we, we sidetracked for a minute. Let's just say you know fruit juices. I mean, I think I'll be. You know, I'll I think I'll speak for everyone when I say that the fruit juices are all better than the actual fruit. Am I right? I saw some truths in there. Flan said no. Kiwi with the skin on is the best. Disgusting. Okay, let's keep going. Um, bananas. Well, the humble banana. The humble banana. I have something to say. With all these fruits, there comes mainly, a, you know, a kind of a familiar, a familiar sort of topic. They're, they're juicy, you know, the juice comes out, but bananas, they're not like that. They're not like that. No, no. They're different than the rest. They're different than the rest. That's why I'm going to take bananas and throw them in inedible because they are just the worst fruit. By a goddamn mile. By a goddamn mile. They're horrible. Oh, oh, here we go again. Everyone starts screaming and crying. Well, let me raise you something even worse. The only good thing that banana has to offer is the banana flavored Laffy Taffy. I fucking said it. All right. Yeah, yeah. How about now? Oh, I bet you're mad now. I bet you're mad now. I don't need I don't need 2000 people to tell me I'm wrong. You think I care? You think I give a shit? Let me think of a banana. Oh, banana popsicles. Banana popsicles. How about that? Those are pretty good, right? Banana popsicles, huh? Artificial banana flavoring is so solid. Ew, what? Ew. Fake banana is great. Who said that? Emily, let's go. I got an ally. I got an ally. Banana milkshake. I've never had one. That does sound good. That sounds okay, actually. That actually sounds okay. The problem with bananas is not the flavor itself. It's the it's the texture. I don't I don't like it. It looks like I went to fucking the Avatar planet and picked something off the branch. And it, I don't I don't like it. I don't like I don't like that. And it's not juicy. It's too, it's too soft and weird. You know what I do like? I, I kind of like, um, what are they called? Plant, plantains? That's pretty good. Plantains, is that what they're called? Those are pretty good. I like those. I like those. But I don't like bananas. On their own. Artabok, thank you. Unsubbing for the banana take. You never have fried banana slathered in chocolate sauce, cream cheese, and condensed milk. Okay, you know what makes that good? Not the banana. You can't just say, hey, 
Why don't you like apples? All you gotta do is put chocolate sauce, fucking cinnamon, uh, you know, everything on the, you know, everything, whipped cream and ice cream and chocolate cake and slather, and the apples are great. Isn't that, that's not, come on. Come on. Come on. You know it to be true. Look down into your, your heart. Also, you have to fry the banana for it to be good now. Hey, I mean, you got at its base value, you know, just a normal banana, bad. But then, you know, but suddenly you have to deep fry and slather in chocolate and put whipped cream and ice cream all over and put inside a cake. And now, now it's good. Guys, I'm sure I'll become based eventually. Just got to give me some time. Like what's coming up next? Watermelon. Who here likes watermelon? Who here is a big watermelon fan? Ooh, I'm seeing a lot of hands. I'm seeing a lot of hands. I'm so happy to hear that. Watermelon. If I had, if someone put a gun to my head and they said, you have to pick a fruit to eat or I'll shoot you. I will say, just shoot me. But in an alternate hypothetical universe, I would absolutely pick watermelon. I would absolutely pick watermelon. Watermelon, if I had to choose, would go up to B tier. Because if someone put a bowl of watermelon in front of me, I would absolutely undeniably start eating that watermelon. And I think the thing I like the most about it is that it's more water than melon. <laughs> so maybe it defeats the purpose of what a fruit really is. Because it just kind of explodes and it's more of like a drink than it is food. It's true. I'm looking at apple, it's pissing me off. It's going down to D. Because an apple tastes better than pear, but a pear has that shape. So I think they're on equal footing. They should both be in D. Watermelon goes up to B. Watermelon goes up to D, B. I, I'm putting it this way. If someone put fruit in front of me, I would not eat any of it. I wouldn't eat it. I don't, I don't like it. Oh, and just sue me. By the way, sue me. I just don't like it. Can I just not like something? Sorry. Sorry. Ooh. Oh, and now we're all mad again. Don't worry, guys. We got pineapple. Did you guys think this was a coconut? Sorry. I drew all these from memory because I didn't have time to look up reference images and draw each one to like a fucking artistic genius. That's a pineapple, not a coconut. Can't dislike something I like. Just watch me. Pineapples have more leaves. What else do they have? I misjudged you. What, you, do you like watermelon? You were based on anyone tell you otherwise. There's so many people. We all hate fruits. And, and but, but artificial fruit. Artificial fruit, good. Artificial fruit, yummy. Pineapple, inedible. Just. Oh, pineapples are yellow, but I think they were brown. It's a pineapple, guys. And also, it's inedible. Pineapple just does not taste good. And I'm mainly judging, you know, if we can go off, of, do you want me to judge it off artificial flavoring? Because pineapple would still be down here. The banana would be like here. And then apple would be like here and the pear would be down here and the tomato would stay, you know? Um, but even artificial pineapple is not good. Like the pineapple flavor, like, oh, it's got pineapple taste and it's like, okay, gross. Disgusting. Revolting. Just the worst. 
Your opinion is wrong. I never said it would be right. Do you understand the contradiction that we are faced with when someone says your opinion is wrong? An opinion, it's my opinion. It is not serving as a fact or any kind of objective take. It's my opinion. You understand? Avocado, which apparently is a fruit. I have never had... So, like, okay. Guacamole. Is that just... Is it touched up, or is it just avocado scooped out and put into a bowl? What, what, what's going on with that? It's touched up. Okay. So I went into this thinking that uh, avocado was just... I've never had an avocado on its own. So now I'm a little concerned. But I do like guacamole. Does that make it unfair for the other ones that I have not, like, you know, I didn't put apple higher because maybe I like applesauce? I don't, but I'm using that as, a, as, a, as, a, as an example. What I like about avocado is that it's, it's kind of savory. It's got that savoriness to it. You tried to bite a pineapple without cutting it, didn't you? You have to cut it? I put all fruit in an edible tier. Watermelon and apple too, put it lower. I hit, oh. You're worse than me. Not by much, but you know. Anyway. Avocado. I'll put it in C. I like guacamole to a considerable amount, but not enough to get it all the time. And also, it's overpriced, which pisses me off. So I'm going to put it in C. I'm going to put it in C below watermelon, the humble watermelon, the bold watermelon. I'm suspecting you have scurvy. No. I'm doing quite well, thank you. Motherfucker put it higher. What do you want from me? What do you want? What? Put it higher. Oh, what, what, what does this do for you? Ooh, how do you feel now? Are you feeling good? How do you feel now? Ooh, I put it higher. Now what? My opinion still doesn't change. It's still a fucking C tier. It could be right there for you, but it's still a C tier. It still stinks. In its own way. Cucumber. I'm just putting that there for a minute. This is not the fact. Cucumber. I do not like pickles. This is gonna be weird. I do not like pickles, but I like cucumber. Does that make sense? Oh, I forgot to put oranges on there. That would be an, uh, inedible anyway, so we don't even worry about that. Um, cucumber. Someone handed me a bowl of cucumbers and said, here you go, have, have some cucumber. I go, okay. I, I'd, I'd eat that. I've eaten bowl, a bowl of cucumbers before. I've done that. There's a place, there's a restaurant that I've gone to where they, they have a bowl of cucumber and they give you cucumber. And it's, and it's, and it's okay. Um, oranges go in inedible. Because just not good. Bad texture. Tastes bad. You get an orange flavor in any bag of anything. And guess what? It's automatically the worst flavor. And I'm not going to argue anymore on that. It's true. You get the orange sour patch kid. You gross. I wish it was green or red. If they had an orange Jolly Rancher, it would be mid as fuck. So what would make the fruit better? Oh, wait, it's worse. Because if the candy isn't good, the thing that's meant to be just, you know, a pleasure. Why would the other thing be good? It's so true. It's the, it's the truest thing I've said all day, and everything I've said is so true. It's crazy. Also, no, forget it. Forget it. I've made you angry enough. So that concludes the fruits section. Watermelon taking the cake for now. Unless I decide differently later in time. Sorry, Pickles. Nothing against you, pal. 
I just don't like I don't like pickles. I, don't, I like you. I just the food jelly beans. Can I ask if you could share your food drawings after stream to make flashcards? I could put it. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe I have a, I have so many. I don't know how I'd share it. Oh, I could put it in like a zip folder. Maybe. Why are A and S tier even here? Hmm. Well, maybe you should have a little bit of patience and you know exactly where this is going. Chili pepper. Chili pepper. A tier. Nothing like a... Nothing, I love peppers. Nothing like a good pepper. Nothing like a good pepper. I love... I, I, I like... I like... I like the burn. I like the taste. Peppers are good. Sweet peppers. We'll, we'll lump this in the same conversation. Sweet peppers. A tier. Raw, grilled, you know, whatever else you do with a pepper. They're good. On their own, they're good. I, I, I like peppers. I like peppers a lot. You don't call them bell peppers? Whatever. Same thing. Oh, now suddenly he's based. Pick a lane. Be Dexter. Thank you. Actually, insane takes. Leave me alone. Cuny. Cuny. Thank you. For one month. Next one's a big one, you guys. The Brussels sprout. No, it is not an egg from the movie Alien. It is a Brussels sprout. Nobody seems to like the Brussels sprout. And let me ask you something. Why? What is so wrong with it? That people just seem to just dislike it immediately. As a child, I never liked them either. But then when I became an adult, and everyone says, oh, is he five? Is he five years old? Would a five-year-old put Brussels sprouts in S tier? I ask you this? On this very day? Would they? The answer is, no. Boiled, roasted. They're good. Brussels sprouts are so good. They're so good. Society forced us to hate Brussels sprouts. Well, society is wrong on this day. Rise up! Rise up! And eat Brussels sprouts, do not be afraid! I know you're afraid, but you can come out of your shell! There's dozens of us! Rise up! Show them we are not afraid of what society thinks of us, that Brussels sprouts are delicious! But they're bad. They're C at best, you're wrong. Brussels sprouts at S tier, you're my Oshi again. They're gonna be going a lot back and forth, Parade Oli, thank you. SAO2, thank you. Brussels sprouts, enjoyers, rise up! All right, from this point forward, I'm going to assume the tiers are in reverse order. No! That boy. They've actually been genetically modified to taste less bitter now. What? A dandy. Never had Brussels sprouts until I was adult, but don't know what the big deal is. They're great! Let's fucking go. There's dozens of us. Trash Panda. This makes me more upset than you hating all the good fruit. Oh, yeah? What about the mushroom? First of all, let's talk about the mushroom. It's a fungus, which automatically makes it gross sounding. A fungus. Is that not just unappealing from the get-go? Fungus? Fungi? Automatically. Automatically, just, you know, I'm put off. Here's my, here's my thing, and I'll be genuine. I'll, I, 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 I've been genuine this whole time with, you know, playing it up, you know, to an extent. But let me, let me be genuine for you. I want to like mushrooms so bad. Sautéed, uh, pizza, just the look of them, they look appealing. They do. 
I cannot, for the life of me, like mushrooms. I can't. You could put them in like soy sauce and salt and with meat and stuff. And I literally still can never, I, can, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. And I don't know why. I've tried them in so many different ways. I've tried a bunch of times. And you know what? My dad, my dad likes all foods. He does not like mushrooms. I think it's the texture. It has that weird bite. It's got a weird bite to it. So maybe maybe it's my my DNA to not not like mushrooms. It's a texture thing, mainly. It doesn't taste bad, really. But it's got that weird give. It's got a give, so it, it kind of interrupts whatever the fuck I'm eating. If it, if it, it kind of clashes. Either a fantastic taste or the opinions of a foul beast of hellfire, and it makes me feel like I was used as battering ram on a brick wall. Unsubbing. Season salt, rise up. Super Pong, rise up. Reverie, I forgive you for this take then. Okay, mushrooms, I'm sorry. I, I know this one I, I will apologize for for some reason. I know people like these, you know, fruits and shit, whatever. Fucking, they don't deserve my pity. But mushrooms, inedible. I will never go out of my way to get something with mushrooms in it or anything else. I just can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Let's talk about peas. The, the simple pea. The simple pea. Who here likes peas? I'm curious. Terrible. Terrible. The only time I will eat a pea is if it's in a shepherd's or cottage pie. And if I had to make the decision to not have it in the pie, I would have done so. They are awful. Not only are they like not flavored, they have a, like a, just a dull, shitty flavor. And not only that, but they pop. They pop in your mouth like a fruit gusher. Gross. Hate that. Hate that for me. And I hate that for everyone else. Just, just bad. It's like eating, it's like eating a, a frog's eyeball. It's like eating eyeballs. My one-year-old is less picky. How do you know? Have you fed your one-year-old the whole Valhalla banquet? Have you given them every food on the face of the planet somehow? We have 50 foods here. You're, you, you're telling me you fed your one-year-old all this shit? Let me go. Just you wait. We're going to get to Diet Coke. I feel like if you feed a one-year-old Diet Coke, it would just melt. All right. Mochi Jam, thank you so much for the five gifted. Thank you so much. Starika, thank you. RNA, thank you. Your throwing hands, your logic is inconsistent, and I disagree with nearly everything here. Love the content here. Would pitchfork again. It is completely consistent. It's the most consistent thing I've ever done. I don't like the taste of peas, but the pop gives me my, my brain the same happiness that bubble wrap does. Interesting. So the, there is serotonin there somewhere. Wait a second. Is it edamame peas? Is that a pea? Okay. Okay. Is that yes, no, yes, yes, no, yes. Soybeans. If edamame was on this list, S tier. I like edamame a lot. So now, now I'm inconsistent. But peas are bad. Peas are bad. These are bad, and they go in inedible. I hate them. I hate them. I like edamame though. They're bigger. It's not. They're not. It's like you know. If I just ate a plain pea, it's like that's shit. But edamame, that's like good. I can't really explain. It's salted. 
It's good. Peas are like musty balls of cotton wrapped in human skin. That is disgusting. You bet Danto's take for the three months of Jerry. You are fucking crazy. Mushy peas, my beloved. Never had mushy peas. <laughs> what am I, five? <laughs> Come on. Come on, we only have the most highest and cultured, refined takes here. If dinosaur chicken nuggets on here, it would be S tier, by the way. Anyway, uh, cheers to Moon. Thank you. Because of his life, thank you. Mars, thank you. One, thank you. Brussels sprouts make me vomit. They taste horrible. It's not an issue of preparation, it's the damn sprouts themselves. Wrong. I held it, I just held it in. I was gonna scream at you, but you know what? I respect your opinion, even though I just said it was wrong. I respect your opinion. And I will not gatekeep or influence my opinion on you. Or say that you are a big stupid idiot, because I think I, you know, at the end of the day, I understand opinions. I understand. I hate you for it, but I respect you. Let's continue. Let's continue. Onion. Onion. Um, onion. <laughs> Uh, where's that gonna go? Inedible. That's what I would say. That's what I would say if I was a fucking idiot. That's what I would say if I was a fucking idiot. S tier. You don't mess with the onion. You don't mess with the onion. Any kind of onion. Cutting it is fun. Starts making your eyes hurt and you're going, oh man, this feels good. This is awesome. It's prepping me for how good it's going to taste. It's so good it's fighting back. That's that's the onion. The onions, the, the on, onions are badass. You and you you, just, you know caramelized raw onions. I need an onion. I just take an onion. I I bite it like fucking Shrek out of leaving his leaving his swamp. Onions are good. I love onions. Garlic would be up there too if I had it on there. Garlic would be A or S. I love garlic. On its own, even on its own, it's fine. Very unvampiric of me. Sheener 2, thank you. Gre opinion on green bee casserole. Never had it. I don't even know what that means. Oil it. Brussels sprouts truth arises. Yes. Rise up. Resumbra. What the hell? What do you mean? Kota Kishu, thank you for the five months. Onions are good. Resumbra, uh, you need to credit the artist. Thank you. Asparagus. Asparagus is so mid. Like, am I wrong? Like, I, I I don't hate it, but they're always trying to make it work. They're like, oh, here's your steak, here's your mashed potatoes, and here's the asparagus. And the asparagus is like, this is, it's like, it's like, it doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. It's not, there's not a whole lot of it going on, you know? It's just asparagus. It's like, it's not bad. It's not good. You know, it's like a C. Right? It's not like, it, it, I would never go like, oh, gross, asparagus, yuck. But I'd also go like, oh, asparagus, great. Okay. Cool, I guess. And do you have anything else? It's just so lame. I will take this list, write it down, and mail it off into space. This list will be the baseline for me. I need hope that's okay. Thank you, Mars. That sounds great. I have a vendetta against asparagus. Cause of life, you said you have history? Interesting. Now, let me talk to you about another mid one. Celery. It's like asparagus, but like worse. Now, I could go, oh, I like, I'd eat, I'd eat celery with peanut butter. And some people eat, you ever heard of ants on a log? For some of you Western Elysium dwellers, ants on a log. It's peanut butter with raisins. On, on a on a uh, stick of asparagus, and that's what that's what like children eat or something. Ants on a log. Now I'm not a big fan of raisins, so I would just do the log, I guess. Am I saying asparagus? I'm sorry. I'm talking about celery. I'm talking about celery. 
It's 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 celery with peanut butter and 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 raisins. Celery with peanut butter and raisins. Ants on a log. I would just do it with peanut butter. Now, here's the problem. Celery is so shit that you need peanut butter to save it because the peanut butter flavor is so overpowering. It just makes it into a thing because celery doesn't have a taste. You have to add something to it to even give it flavor. What the fuck is the point? So the celery itself isn't good. The thing that you like on the celery is the peanut butter or the raisins. So just eat peanut butter and raisins. But you know, but then you go, oh, the texture, the crunch. And it's like, okay, so it's just an asset for something else with different flavor. So celery on its own sucks. It sucks. It's so bad. It's not like watermelon. Because they're kind of they kind of serve the same purpose, right? They kind of serve the same purpose. But they're they're both water. But watermelon at least has taste. Celery is important for soups. Chicken soup. My mom makes the best, best chicken soup. Delicious, even. The best I've ever had. Some Parmesan cheese powdered in there. You know, I would always tell her no celery because the problem with celery and soup is I want a brothy, nice, easy experience. And I just put this, I put a spoonful in my mouth and then you get this fucking crunch. And then people will say, well, maybe it isn't cooked long enough. Okay. Well, if it was soft, then what the fuck is the point of it anyway? There's no point. So I don't even ask for celery in my soup. There's no freaking point. It's called texture in my chicken soup. I want it all to be beautiful and smooth. But no, it's interrupted by an assailant hiding in the shadows waiting to strike. What a bunch of bullshit. Anyway, corn, 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 who likes corn, who likes corn, I, not even going to bait you guys with this, I love corn, S tier, I love corn. It's so good. It is just, it's just, I want some right now when I talk about it. I need to put it even. It's better than Brussels sprouts. I think it's better than Brussels sprouts. Chat died. I'll wait for you guys to come back. Sim57, you're the first person outside of my family who has ever tried ants on a log. Here has some money. I just got money for in indulging it in ants on a log. We live in a crazy world. We live in a crazy world. I know, chat's dead. I'm gonna wait. I'm sure it's you guys all saying how delicious corn is. I know. I know. You don't have to tell me. I know. I know you're out there. I know you're out there, waiting. Waiting to be seen and heard. Jen Willen, thanks for four months. Betsy, why are your thoughts on Elote? Elote? What the fuck is... Elote. What is that? Elote? Elote is corn. Elote. Is that the buttered corn with the shit all over it? Is it that? I've never had it. I guarantee you, it would be S tier. A bunch of butter and like spice on like corn, it would absolutely be S tier if I had it. Never had it. Never had it. I I never I don't know where like I don't know where to get that, but it looks it looks fucking awesome. I've only I've only seen it in movies. <laughs> they ate it in Nacho Libre. And I always said it looked good when they were eating it in Nacho Libre. That's all that's all that's the only time I've seen it. Looks really good though. I've always wanted it. 
But I've never, I've never gone on. I, it would be S tier. I just know it would be. Because how can corn, butter, and spices be worse than just corn? It wouldn't. It would be fucking amazing. It would be so good. Sadie, thanks so much for three months. I agree with your A and S tiers until you added corn. I'm devastated. Corn bad, inedible even. I respect your opinion. You're so dumb. <laughs> Kimmy! Thanks so much for the super chat. As speaking here myself, I understand putting some things higher and lower on it. But yes, corn is super yummy. Sadie, I'm just kidding, by the way. You cannot like corn. I know I have, I have a buddy that doesn't like corn. He's not my buddy anymore. Emphasis on had. Zwinny, thanks so much for the one month. Hi Betsy, my friend my friend Bonnie is watching with me and the and the banana placement is giving her psychic damage. Good. People, thanks so much for five months. Jen Willen, thank you. Yeah, Neko Arts! You have a crippling addiction to movie popcorn too, or is that just me? No, I love movie popcorn. I can't stop when I start. Money for Nacho Libre mention. Let's go. Your is invalid mushrooms over corn. Corn can choke your throat. It's a low-key a bioweapon. You just made it sound cooler. Gia, come on. Come on. Also, corn is popcorn. That's true. I didn't even think about that. Delicious. Corn on pizza. Never had it. Probably good. Comfy. Thanks for two months. Thank you. All right. Let's move on. Carrots. So mid. I look like a fucking rabbit to you. You see me hopping through the prairies? No. The carrots don't need to be above a C. They're so mid. They don't taste good. Carrots are so mid. I'd have it in a soup, sure. They're so mid. The most mid thing ever. Not like, you know, inaccessible, but they're mid. They're mid. People are like carrots are yum, but it's like, what? where would you, what do you have your carrots for? What do you, what, what do you eat? Like, what, you're just eating, what, you, what, you're eating a raw carrot? Raw. Carrot cake? Eh, I don't like carrot cake. I never had it in a while, though. It does, carrot cake looks good, though. Say Shun? That is my first super chat ever. Wait, what? I'm so confused. That is not... Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna spend to tell you to live in West Elysium now. You can find elotes everywhere. YouTube had a bug and reset my account. Hi, I'm new again. Also, mushrooms are good. He, I was about to say, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Thank you, Seishun, for the first super chat. Kind of. Wink. Mushrooms are good. Heathen. Wrong. You're so dumb. Um, And... Thank you for the super chat. You're dumb. Okay. Moving on. Um, broccoli. Now, the thing with broccoli is it's like, it's like the thing with it, right? The thing with broccoli is like we were taught not to like it. But it's good. Coincidence? I think it's society trying to keep us down again. They're telling us in cartoons and media that broccoli is bad, but you know what? They want to keep it all to themselves. Because they know the true deliciousness that is broccoli. And they don't want the rest of the world to find out. But let me tell you something. Broccoli belongs in A or an S tier. But society, they say... <laughs> <laughs> they want to keep us down but I'm putting it high A? A or S? what do you think? A or S? might be S? might be S I think it's S. I think it's S. I will go out of my way to cook broccoli, eat broccoli. Broccoli is good. 
I like broccoli. I like the little tree. It's like eating a tree. Maybe I am five. Who cares? I like to feel like a giant, giant monster eating tree. Lots of fun. It's a little bit of fun. You know, who said you can't have fun while eating your vegetables, you know? Sometimes I like to pick it up and pretend it's a plane. You know? Unastrea, thanks for your super chat. Betsy, I just realized your pig drawing has five legs. No, that's its mouth coming. This, that's the mouth coming. It's, its mouth is open. It has a mouth coming out. What is going on here? This is an attack. I'm being attacked by my food groups. I just got attacked by my food groups. Base veggie takes, and I forgive you for the mushroom, mushroom texture placement. Thank you, Linastrea. Guys, thank you for all the, the, the snipes. Um, pork, turkey, chili, shrimp, uh, crab, onion, steak, fish, and Arna. Thank you. And terminal goat. So, here comes here comes a, a pivotal moment in 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 battle in battle history. Okay, it's 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 I think it's it's ta a tale in battle as old as time. Crab versus lobster. Crab versus lobster. Which is better, you guys? Crab or lobster? I'm curious. Which is better? You can't say both. Now I don't know if I hold the popular or unpopular opinion on this one, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for it. So I think crab is very, very, very good. And I'd probably put that in A tier. Lobster, I just don't think is as good. Maybe it could go in the same tier, in A tier, but I would put crab ahead of lobster. I'm not going to put crab and lobster next to watermelon. It's just not going to happen. But lobster, for the price and like all that, like that, that stigma where it's like, oh, it's lobster, you know, oh, so expensive, so fancy. And yet crab tastes better. At least I think so. Steak. I mean, uh, what do you want? What do you want me to say? S tier. T bone. Filet. Uh, uh, t t tomahawk. Um, sirloin. Doesn't matter to me. Steak will always be S tier. It's one of my favorite foods. I, if it could go higher, it would be above the rest. Steak is just incredible. You don't want to mess with steak. You, if, if steak, if you had to fight steak, it would fuck you up. Fuck you up. It's true. Steak is mid. Uh, you know what? That's okay. You can say that. <laughs> Look at this. So dumb. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, moving on. Thanksgiving. The dumbest holiday on Earth. Not only is it just the worst holiday ever, it's brought to you by the shittiest plethora of food that goes on the table. And what's better to top it all off with a big piping hot thing of turkey a giant mid shitty thing of turkey my mother is an amazing cook and you know god rest her soul she's not dead god rest her soul um no matter what she does to a turkey it's still a turkey at the end of the day it's still a turkey and so it's just not, it's just not great. You gotta pound that thing with salt. And also like, no matter what, it's always going to be a little dry. It's so dry. But if someone gave me turkey or whatever, yeah, I mean, I, but it goes in C tier. It's mid. C is mid. It's so mid. It's the most mid thing ever. Bland, tasteless. 
mid. You know how you make turkey good? You take your salt shaker and you hope to God that the top unscrews and just dumps all over it because that is the only way turkey is going to get some flavor in this house. It's true. Did you draw this by putting your hand on the screen and tracing around it? I absolutely fucking did. I was trying to draw it like a hand by freehand and I couldn't do it. And I literally took my palm and I put it up to the screen and I traced it and then I colored it in. Maybe I, I, I'm not five, by the way, I'm an adult. Reverie, thank you so much, horse appreciator. Thank you. I like lobster because they're effectively immortal and I want to gain their strength. Also, they're cute. Deva, thank you for the gift. For Danny, thank you for the gift. On shoot, thank you. Season Salt, thank you. Starica, Isla Mode. Nolito, thank you. Pareto Lee, Cassandra, thank you. So, pig. Pork. 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 So, when someone says, like, ham, I go, eh. If someone goes, like, you know, pork, pork belly or pork cutlets and stuff, eh. If someone says bacon, Bacon is overrated. And everyone goes, oh, bacon, bacon, bacon. Remember bacon was like the top talk of the town and everyone was like, oh, bacon. Wow, bacon. Ooh, bacon. Ooh, I love bacon. And, you know, you want to be random in front of your friends. You go, oh, bacon, potato, bacon, you know? First of all, that pisses me off. That has nothing to do with the food. Second of all, bacon, I wouldn't call it mid. I'd call it B tier. But it's not as good as people. There's like a, it's like a, there's like a fucking religion uh, on bacon, and it's just, it's just, it's just not that good. It's just not that good. It's B tier, pork and bacon and ham. Now pulled pork, barbecue. is like S tier. Pulled chicken, whatever. Brisket, it's good, but nothing beats pulled pork. Pulled pork is next level. But in everything else, it's kind of weighing it down. So I'm, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put that in B. I'm gonna put it in B. Carnitas, it's okay. It's okay. I know that's. I like pulled pork in barbecue. In barbecue. Pulled pork and barbecue rocks. I want barbecue now. All right, shrimp. Shrimp is terrible. Really don't like it. The only thing that's saving shrimp from a horrible demise is fried shrimp. Fried shrimp is very good. But the rest of it, awful. Awful. What would you call it? What do you call the fried shrimp? What is that? What is that called? Is it just called fried shrimp? Fried. Scampi? Tempura? Oh. <laughs> oh, I get it. Wait a second. Wait a second. Like tempus? And you call yourself tempura because it's like fried shrimp. And tempura is Japanese. Wait, that I had no idea. I literally had no idea. I thought it was just called fried shrimp. Wait, that's so clever, actually. Well, looks like I just saved my ass. Yeah, I like tempura. I like tempura. I just don't like the rest, any other shrimp. Okay? I literally, I literally had no idea. Okay. Well, shrimp goes in, like, B. Because I like tempura a lot. And all the rest of it. I mean, it could go in C, but that would be next to turkey. And that's not really fair. So, I'd, I'd put, well, maybe it's, like, a high C. Maybe it's, a, we'll put in high C. We'll put in a high C. Put in a high C. 
Okay. You think we are B tier? No, you are a C plus. Um, okay. Moving on. This is fish. I'm actually kind of glad it got cropped because the picture literally just looked like a dolphin. Um, it was just a dolphin. Um, I don't really know what to say about that. I, I think you guys would have said it was a dolphin. I do not partake in eating dolphin. Do people do that? I don't, I think that would be immoral. Anyway, fish. Uh, what kind of fish am I talking about? And by the way, this is for cooked fish only. Salmon, um, um, bass, uh, tuna, uh, 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 I don't even know, mahi mahi, I don't fucking, I get, is that a dolphin? I don't know. I love salmon. Halibut, yeah. Um, uh, there's another one, uh, not ha halibut, it's, uh, it's the one that Gordon Ramsay likes. It's not halibut, it's, uh, size brands, you know. I guess halibut is the one that Gordon Ramsay likes. And cod is good. Fish goes in A tier. And it goes past crab. It's 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 A plus. A plus. I like I like fish. I like it. I like fish a lot. Cooked. Cooked, of course. Cooked. Fish over pork? Absolutely. Any time of the day. Any day of the week. Any month of the year, any year of the decade, any decade of the galaxy. Moving on. Egg. Bobby Gator, Mickey, Angel, Angel Butler of Time, thank you. You just not realized? Oops. Bobby Gator, thank you. I thought the fish was a messed up a whale. Oh, it looked like a whale for a long time. It took me a few tries. King Dova Chief, thank you. You're saying a shrimp, shrimp fried this rice? Yes. Blue, thank you. Shrimp dumplings. Yeah, maybe. Double con. Thank you, Mikey the First. Thank you. Welcome to Battalion, pal. Egg. Um. Okay, so eggs. Let's talk about them. I like eggs. I like them in fried rice. I like them in anything. I like them. I like. I like. I like eggs. I like what they do for 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 other things. But. I do not like boiled eggs. I do not like over easy eggs. I do not like any kind of eggs that are not scrambled. And I'm sorry to say scrambled eggs are awesome. But I never liked like an over easy egg. Deviled? No. Omelette? Eh. Omelettes are okay. Literal eight-year-old me. Can a man not like eggs? Can I just eat a scrambled egg and be happy? Scrambled egg with a little bit of pepper. Oh, baby. Very good. I'll put it in B tier. I'll put it in B tier. Just for scrambled eggs alone. It goes in B tier. I'll put it higher than these two. There we go. Bread. Uh, what do we do with bread? Um, it's so like, the thing with bread is like, it's so, you know, it's bread. Can't hate bread, but also, does anyone really love bread? Oh man, bread. Oh mm. man, oh, my favorite thing is bread. Who the fuck says that? My favorite food is I just love eating bread. I can't. Bread cannot be S tier. There, there's a wall just blocking me from making it S tier. Though, it is A tier. I love bread. We do, I, we do like bread here. But it can't be like oh, S tier steak, broccoli, corn, bread. Give me a fucking break. That's ridiculous. That sounds silly. And you're being silly. You'd be silly. Bread. Beer. Okay, so this next one is... So, uh, I didn't know how to draw it. Um, but it's a brownie. 
you know, I'm gonna put that back into the dessert section. We still need to go through like foods. We'll, we'll talk about the brownie later. But we are getting close to close to dessert sections here. For we forgot some things. That's okay. Do the drinks as well. <laughs> Let's see here. Are we getting okay? Okay, here we go. All right, so sushi. Um, we've come a long way since uh, my debut. I was a sushi unenjoyer. But let me tell you, I had the California roll the other day, and let me say I was pleasantly surprised in its flavor profile as well as its texture and reasonable size. My, my 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 biggest issue with sushi at the for most of it is is the size of it. I don't like putting that much stuff in my mouth. It it it, it becomes an unenjoyable eating experience. I have to chew, and it, there's so much. I I have a tiny mouth, and it's I I am having a bad time. I'm having a bad time with all the food I have to put in my mouth. But when I had a California roll the other day, it was a reasonable size. But sometimes sushi can get too big, and that knocks points off. Knocks points off. It is tasty, though. Spider roll. I like that, too. I had one that had, like, other stuff in it. Don't know what it was. And I would not have put tempura so high. I went and got sushi with, with uh, Battle 2 and, and, and some friends, and... I said, what is this crunchy fried thing in here that I keep biting into and it tastes good? And they're like, that's shrimp. And I go, what? And they're like, that's shrimp. There's shrimp. There's deep fried shrimp in there. I'm like, oh, well, that's good. And then I went, now I like it. So sushi is definitely not like inedible by any means. Nor will I say it's a D or C. I think it deserves a B tier for now. Will that change? Maybe. I think it could get better. I think it could get better the more I try it and get new sushi surroundings. But for now, you know, let me let me do the baby slopes, the uh, the bunny slopes of sushi. You know what I mean? It's solid. But maybe a little overrated, maybe. I don't think it's that good. Not yet. Zumetsi, thanks so much for the one month. Kevin Cow, thank you. Future Flowers, thank you for the two months. Aquatic Lettuce, thank you. Katsuo's Life, thank you. Butter and peanut butter sandwiches are so great. I agree, Esther. AK, thank you. Never talk to me and my imaginary cottagecore bread-making GF ever again. Yeah, well, her bread sucks. Aries, six months, two months. Defeatable Airman, thank you. Real Japanese-style sushi is usually bite-sized, though. See, I, I would like that. If it's bite-sized, that's good. But sometimes it's like putting a softball in my mouth. And then I just, I'm having, I'm having more of an experience trying to chew and not die than I am trying to enjoy my food. And I'm having a bad time. Hot dog. Did you guys know this was a hot dog? Guys, hot dogs... Let me tell you something about hot dogs. It's a top-down perspective, by the way. Um, hot dogs are kind of lame. First of all, what kind of thing is anything that needs like ketchup? It's like you know, you're pissing me off. Now let me say this: if this were like a sausage dog, like a like a like it's not not like a pork thing or or anything, but if it were like a sausage thing sausage-based dog thing, then it would be badass. And it would be good. But then there's, like, hot dog. It's a C. Hot dog is a C. I'm not a big sauce. I'm not a big, I'm not a big hot dog guy. Metal 2 likes hot dogs, but guess what? He doesn't go for, like, the... I'm talking about pork hot dogs, by the way. Because then we can go out of our way and be like, oh, what about beef hot dog? And it's like, okay, but then we're just... You know, we keep changing it. Battle 2 only eats, like, beef dogs, because guess what? Beef is better than pork, and no one wants, like, a pork sock tube dog, all right? Gross. Forget it. See. 
I got food poisoning from a hot dog recently. Oh, congrats. Adrian Canales, thank you so much. If you think of it, beer is just bread-flavored soda. That's true. You made it sound better. Jen, thanks so much. Welcome to Jesticles. Mr. Pazlo, thank you for the four months. What about Spider World? Yeah, those are those are good. Potato. S tier. Potato. Think about it. French fries. Badass. Mashed potatoes. Badass. Potato. You don't want. You don't fuck with potato. Now, I think potato is the most universally liked thing here. I don't think there's anyone that's going to go like you black a potato. You can say that about steak. You can say that about corn. You can say that about beer. You can say that about onion. But potato is the most universally accepted thing besides bread. Potato is crazy. It's good in a stew. It's good in a soup. It's good in anything. And it's always good. I'm not seeing anyone here that says I don't like potatoes or potato is mid. Potatoes rock. Sweet, even sweet potatoes. They're not better than potatoes, but they're, they're good enough. Potatoes are, potatoes rock. All right, pizza. Who here likes, who likes a pizza? Goes in inedible. Fuck pizza. Okay, here's the thing. Now, now it's going to sound a little contradictory and conflicting. I said tomatoes are inedib inedible, but there is one saving grace. One saving grace for tomatoes. And it's when you put cheese and meat and everything else on it and then fucking do whatever you do to make pizza and bake it. And then, then it's good. That's the only time. Pizza is undeniably S tier. We love, who doesn't like a pizza? It's for everybody. It's the people's champion because it's so versatile. You know what I mean? You can put pizza anywhere. You know, like meat, that's fine. You can get it like this. You know, like, you know, like that? Well, you can get it like that. There's so many toppings, so many ingredients, so many things to do with it. It's pizza. We love pizza. Are we showed up up? Fun fact, my brother who took culinary class says the National Hot and Sausage... National Hot and Sausage Council. What the fuck is that? It's real. Oh, hot dog? Hot dog and sauce? Says that ketchup should not go on hot dogs after the age of 18 as a hot dog etiquette. The council has spoken. The sausage and hot dog council said ketchup is not to be belonged on a hot dog when you become a man. So who's the idiot now? Who's the child now? You! The council has spoken? We gotta do argue with the sausage hot dog council? I don't know, sounds like a pretty credible reference. Pray to Lee, thank you so much. Great picture. Beautiful. Chris, thank you for the one month. Pizza stuff, thanks for five months. There you go, I'm glad. Okay, pumpkin. Who the fuck eats pumpkin? I think, what, how, am I, how, am I, how am I going to review this? Pumpkin on its own, because that's then it's literally just inedible. People don't eat pumpkin, right? But then it's like pumpkin you put in like pumpkin flavored things and then baked pumpkin stuff or, pu pu you know, that that's good, right? But if you eat pumpkin, I'm, got, I'm going to put pumpkin on its own for this one. Pumpkin on its own to pumpkin on its own. Inedible. Horrible. Terrible. I like squash and shit, like gourds or whatever. A pumpkin on its own, it's bad. Squ is, is squ squash is not the same as pumpkin, though. Right? Is that a different thing? There's pumpkin and then there's like, you know, like butternut squash or whatever. That's like a different thing. It's a type of, it, a pumpkin is a type of squash. They're different. I'm going to go off a pumpkin on its own. Inedible. You know what? Is it? It's not. Let me look here. I mean, you know what? Halloween is a pretty cool, pretty, pretty cool holiday. You know what? Points for pumpkin for making it cool. D tier. Pumpkin D tier. And I will not change that. 
ever in a million years. Soda. I put soda here. I just colored it differently. As you can tell, all three drinks are exactly the same, only I colored them differently. Because guess what? I was running out of goddamn time painting all these fucking stupid pictures. Any kind of soda. Any kind of soda. We have, you know, all the brands. Um, there's like... Um, so, so it's, it's just, you know, there's all of those. Um, and for that, S tier as well. We love soda in this household. Now there's like worse variants, but you know, we, we, soda good. This is sweet tea. For a long time, I lived in Southern Elysium. I never understood the appeal to sweet tea. Brisk does not apply to sweet tea. Brisk, brisk is tea and like lemonade. Is that a sweet tea? No, because I had a sweet tea and it tastes like shit. Does not apply. What's the, okay, okay then. What's that tea that you get and it's like not, it's like warm. It's like warm and it's like, it's a sweet tea. It's warm. They don't put ice in it. It's like a warm, weird tea. It's like a lukewarm, like, like kind of warm Tea, it comes out of a machine at fast food places. Not tea. It's a sweet tea. Maybe I just got a bad tea? I asked for a sweet tea and it was warm. It was like bubbly. Sweet tea. That wasn't tea. What? Well, whatever that was, it goes in an edible. And anything else, you know, brisk, I don't know. But whatever that was, it was awful. I don't know what that's called anymore. Don't care. Maybe it was, I don't know. Pea cup. I don't know. Disgusting. Ho hated it. Whatever that was, it's in an edible. Cheese. I love cheese. But ch listen, cheese on its own, like, cheese on its own is good. And there's so many different types. There's so many different types of tea, uh, cheese. We love cheese. And it goes good on anything. And I'd be a fool not to put cheese in S tier. Cheese is good to me. It's been a good friend for a long time. When I needed it most. Anyway, we have hit the dessert section. I guess you would call this a lightning round, but we'll take our time. We'll take our time. And you know what? I'll be extra critical. I'll be extra critical. No burgers? S tier. I don't know. Chicken is a dessert. Chicken! Chicken. We love chicken. Chicken, there's not a whole lot to be said with chicken. It is good no matter how you spin it. S tier. S tier. We've hit the dessert round now. Uh, let's start with the brownie. And here's the thing with brownies. They're not terrible. Actually, I should make I should make this like its own section. Think think okay, for people watching, think of it as its own section. Okay. Now I'm going to rank them in their own area. If if just got bear with me here. Brownie. Brownies are really good. Brownies are very, very good. I don't think they're S tier. Because, you know, you get you get your brownie from, you know, you know, you get your brownie from pizza and, and, and then it's suddenly brownies aren't that good anymore. You know what I mean? And I just, you know, if you're if a brownie, you know, it's just. 
They're good. Fresh baked brownies are S tier. Yeah, but I'm I'm judging them universally. I gotta give them an A. I think brownies are an A. I do. I think they're an A. Maybe a high B. Maybe a high B, but we'll see. There's room for it to change. Candies. Sweet candies. You know, any kind of candy. I'm talking, you know, like Airheads and Laffy Taffy and all that. You know, just any kind of sweet candy. Skittles, just candy. Candy in general, candy. You know, when you think of candy, it's candy. I am a person that likes baked goods astronomically better than any kind of packaged sweet to all degree if you had can't you know would i take a brownie over an airhead yes would i take would i take you know uh a cake over an airhead yes would i take a cookie over an airhead yes what i could take you know it, it's always going to be baked goods will always beat it it will always beat it i think i do like it i do like it but i do think it is trumped by any other kind of sweet thing for the most part. It's just, it's just, so like, if I were to put it on the dessert tier list, it would be at the bottom. It would be at like D. Now, for the sake of the tier list and confusion, I'll give it, I'll give it a B. But in, in a, in a bubble, in a bubble, in a bubble of desserts, it is at the bottom. It is at the bottom, undeniably. It is a, it's 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 easy to get. It's quick. It serves its purpose, but it's no better than than that. Guys, this was meant to be a cannoli. Um, it got cut off. Actually, I was pretty proud of this drawing. It looked pretty nice. Uh, that is a cannoli. That is a cannoli. Um, it's it's fucked up. It got all fucked up. I love cannoli. I love cannoli. A lot. I just had one the other day because I couldn't resist. I was at a place and I saw cannoli on there for two dollars, and I said, "I want a cannoli." And you know what? S tier. I just I keep thinking about it. That cream, that cream. It was a cream cheese or whatever. That shit in the middle. It's so smooth. Fuck. It's so good. I love cannoli. Yeah, two dollars. I'm. I, yeah, honestly, it was so good. I'll take. No, cannolis are good. Uh, what's a cannoli? What's a cannoli? It's like an Italian tube. That's it. That's all I got. All right. Cinnamon rolls. Dare I say, positively overrated. Positively overrated people are all about oh, cinnamon rolls oh, they're just not that good for all this ranting and raving and hooping and hollering and waving your arms around all oh, the cinnamon rolls they got they got places named after them they got places dedicated just for cinnamon rolls and they're just not that good I like I like cinnamon as a flavor a lot. But they're just not that good. They're B tier. They're above candy, but you know, so is everything else. They're just not that good. <gasps> Cookie. No, not that this is this is another controversial one because I think people are gonna say I'm stupid. There is nothing quite there's nothing quite like a freshly baked cookie and cookies it's like, like it you can think of it it's like a cookie it's so boring it's just it's a cookie you know what are you a cartoon character a cookie a cookie just seems so lame right but i can't resist the fact that a fresh baked cookie is undeniably one of my favorite things but i will hit you with this Packaged, crumbly, hard cookies are some of the worst things. I hate that. I love 
hot baked soft cookies and they are wonderful but they are held back by those crumbly hard just messy cookies that just aren't good it's not good i will put cookie in a tier it would be an s tier if they were always hot and baked and whatever else but we live in a world where things are mass produced and turned into many different variations and sometimes for the worse Girl Scout cookies, S tier. S tier. You can't, I, I'm not about to lump Girl Scout cookies in with just like every other cookie on earth. Girl Scout cookies, they, they, they are on another plane of existence. They do not belong to be categorized in any other thing. Okay, okay. like the, 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 the genre of food that it is, it's a Girl Scout cookie. Because when you're eating them, what if someone walks in and they ask what you're eating, you don't say cookies. You say Girl Scout cookies, which means it's different. Girl Scout cookies are rest here. I don't know how I'm going to get them out here. I wonder if Girl Scouts live here. Uh, seasoned salt. That's on the soft store bought cookies with the frosting and sprinkles. But the weird flour tasting cookie part. I can never tell if I hate those or love those, and I think I hate them. They give me headaches. Those are the cookies that you would bring in, and it's like some fucking kid's birthday, and they couldn't afford the cookie cake, so instead they brought in those shitty, like, you know, you walk into the grocery store, and you look to your left or your right, and they're right there, and it's those sprinkled, like, flour, doughy cookies. They're not good, but there's days where I'm craving them, and I get them, and I take a bite into it, and I say, wait a second, these suck. I always get, I have, sometimes I get a craving for them and I, I, I like try to remind myself if they're good or not. And I go in and I take a bite of them. And I'm like, these are terrible. What are those things, man? But like, why do I keep coming back? Why do I keep coming back? I don't understand. Are, are they horrible or are they good? I cannot tell. I literally have no fucking idea. I don't understand. Donut. You know, the donut. Um, I'm proud of this drawing, by the way. Look at that. It looks uh, it's looking good. I, ch I made everything pink. For some reason, it just looked appealing. <laughs> so donut. I had donuts the other day from, uh, from, uh, you know, the donut place. Uh, cream um go, love it love those donuts those donuts are incredible um i also love you know in donuts uh those are also those are also pretty good now both those places have good donuts i like donuts but are they better than brownies and cookies or no i don't think they are i don't think they are everything fresh is going to be better but like at its base value like you know it's got to be higher than candy. It's got to be higher than cinnamon roll. I mean, it would be like, you know, it would be over here for me because I love sweets. So it'd be like, it'll be higher than sushi, you know. But, but, you know, as far as it goes, it's just not the best. I might need to rearrange this list in a minute here because now I'm hit with a problem. I love ice cream. A lot. I'd put it in A tier easily, but does it compete with cookies and brownies? Or are they all in the same tier? They are. Now it's a matter of, are they, they might be S tier. I am now making the decision to move brownies, cookies, and ice cream all the way to S tier. They have their flaws. They all have their flaws, but it doesn't matter. They are still that good. Cookie is A tier. You're wrong. If anything is A tier, it's brownie. But brownie also good. Can anyone tell me what this is? Look right here. Can anyone tell me what that is? 
it got cut off and frankly if it wasn't cut off it still wouldn't make sense so please is does someone know what that is macaron thank you the fact that someone can understand what it was good enough i'm actually gonna keep it right there in s tier macarons if you've never had them they're like a kind of crumbly oh i can barely explain it also macaron or macaroon i don't fucking know it, it's interchangeable to me at this point macarons are awesome and you know what they are they're all the fun of jelly beans with so much more taste flavor and enjoyability because they have all these flavors and they're so fun to look at and guess what each one tastes like this crazy different thing and it's all the fun that jelly beans have, only they're not shit. They're good. I think they're so good. They're like pretty patties. I've never had a macaroon. Oh, wait a second. Maki runes. It's like mac... I'm just kidding. I knew that one. But, um... But yeah, macarons. Um... I like them. I like all the flavors for the most parts. Like, and I like getting a big box of them and then not knowing what the flavor is. Not knowing what the flavor is. And I'm like, oh, what's this one? That, oh, and I try to guess, but I've never had one that I haven't liked. There, but one of my favorite ones was a, it was like velvet or rose. And it was like eating perfume cupcake cookie. I swear, it's so, the fragrance was so crazy, but it was so different. It was so good. It was like a rose or velvet one or something. And it was like purple. It was like eating perfume, but it, it was it was good. It was good. Muffins. I drew a blueberry muffin because I was feeling creative. Um, I like muffins. Are they if cupcakes were here? OK, big argument. I think muffins are really good. I think they're better than cinnamon rolls and stuff. I don't think they're better than donuts or anything. Maybe they are better than donuts if they're really if they're solid. Um, I think muffins are okay. Are they better? No, I mean, they're not better. But they're, they're, they're like, I like their, I like their texture. I like their flavor. I like the fluffiness of them all. They're good. The problem with muffins um, is that they vary too much. And it's like, I don't know. It's like, it's kind of like, a, 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 they're just, they're a little boring. A little boring. And the best part is at the top, and then you go through it, and then you're like, well, half of this was good, and now the rest of it's sort of mid. That can't that has to mean something. Right? Anna, thanks for the super chat. Yeah, I know Girl Scout cookies, I know, I know. Seen salt, thank you. Oh right, you got it. Thank you so much for the two months. Where do you rank yourself on this tier list? Inedible, because I am a human being. Hannah, thank you. <clears throat> you know, carrot cake is a type of muffin, not cake, right? What? I've never had carrot. I've never had carrot cake in a long time. What's next to ice cream? That's macaron. Duh. <laughs> All right, pancakes. Wait, where's waffles? I had waffles on here. Aw, uh, damn it. I guess I didn't save it. Well, I was going to do the old. OK, anyway, before we get there, cupcakes versus muffins. If a, cup, if a cupcake has a light frosting on it, it beats muffins. But the, pro, the, the the greatest pitfall that cupcakes always run into is they put too much goddamn frosting on top of it. Does do do people have people not fucking figured it out yet that frosting is not the thing that people like on any of their desserts? Have they not figured that out? Do you understand that every time someone bitches about a cake or a cupcake or anything else, people would just say, well, it's too much frosting. There's a lot of frosting and that's all this frosting. And still people are slamming on frosting to everything. But just a light kind of moist like top. Like if you just you don't let it you don't, don't build a fucking tower, just a slight top that coats the top of the cupcake. Perfect. Wonderful. But they're always making these fucking towers of frosting. And it gives me a headache. I 
I know, buttercream frosting, delicious, but still, too much of a good thing is still too much. I don't want that much. I'm passionate here. I like my sweets, but there's, it's, I like, I like the ratio of, of cake and frosting. You want more cake than you want frosting, you don't want 50-50, because then it's just, a, it's the disaster. Cupcakes with filling? I do not like things with filling. I'm so sorry to say. This is gonna sound so stupid. But you know what, I've already dug my grave. I like things with filling. Like, if the thing with filling is open-ended and I can see the filling, I'm fine. But if it's a closed thing, and I don't know what's in there, suddenly I'm afraid. Like a jelly donut, or like an eclair and stuff, it's closed and contained and I don't know what's in there. I don't like the, it, it pooling out. I know like, I know like, I like what I'm getting into. Cannoli, you can see what's going on. You know what's going on. You know, I, I don't understand, I can't tell you why. I can't tell you why. A jelly donut is not open. It has a one little hole and you can barely see what's happening. I don't like that. I don't like jelly donuts. I don't like jelly. Maybe that. Maybe I should have just said that. There's more texture to cannoli too. I just like that thickness of it. It's good. Anyway. Pancakes versus waffles. A tale as old as time. <laughs> waffles win hands down. I mean, waff waffles, waffles win. It, waffles wins any time of the day. C pancakes are good, but waffles always win. Don't say crepes. That was not the lesson. That is not the assignment. You can't do this to me. You can't. I can't go like, hey, chicken or steak, and then you go, Bleh, turkey. <laughs> They're different, okay? I promise. Waffles are better. Crepes are good. I actually don't think crepes are better than pancakes or waffles, I'll say. I think French toast is better than pancakes, but not waffles. Waffles are top, then uh, French toast and pancakes, I'd say tied, and then I'd say crepes are below it. I don't, I don't like crepes that much. I, I've had it. Uh, maybe I haven't had a good one. I have, I've only had like three in my lifetime, so maybe, maybe there's that, but I've never, I've never, I don't know. French toast is really good. Let's go love bugs. Laughing things for one month. I'm gonna make so many people mad today. They're just the discourse that this, this whole thing is causing. I get, it's, it's, it's fucking hilarious to me. Um, okay. So, but we'll put pa pancakes up in like A tier anyway. And waffles would probably go in S or A, but it would just be further ahead. We'll put it up here behind uh, bread. Well, we'll put it like that, like that. Well, I don't, I don't know. Pie. I was afraid of this one. Pie. Blueberry pie. Apple pie. Pie. It's so bad. I have tried apple pie so many different times and I have never once liked it. It just seems so good, like the crust and that kind of apple -y flavor with the cinnamon. I'm like, oh man, this has to be good. It's bad. Blueberry pie, bad. Cherry pie, bad. Key lime pie, good. Key lime pie, very good. But I'll get to that in a minute. Pie, I'm going to put it far down. It's a pastry, so it doesn't go down to D but it's a C tier. I don't like pie. It's just like, I, I'll, I'll try it and eat it and be like, yeah, you know, yeah. But pumpkin pie, which is what this is meant to be, is undeniably A tier. Pumpkin pie is so good. I love pumpkin pie. Meat pies don't count. I'm talking about like the dessert pie. Meat pie, that's a whole, yes, pasties and meat pie and all that S tier, whatever. So good. Pumpkin pie and key lime pie, are so good. And maybe it comes down to the texture thing. They're both so much flavor. I love the smoothness of it. 
I'll, I'll, do, I'll do A. I'll probably do A for, for Key Lime as well. Popsicles. D tier. How lame. That's lamer than a fucking popsicle. It's so boring. It's the most boring, sh stupid, lazy thing. If someone gives me a popsicle, I'm pissed off. I was on an airplane once and I had like my meal and they're like, okay, here comes dessert. And normally it's like a cookie or like fudge or like toffee or just something. And they gave me a popsicle and I was angry. I was angry. I've never had sweet potato pie. That's probably good. Com pie is pretty good. This is, the, this is the new food pyramid, it's true. Milo popsicle? What is that? Milo popsicles? Palatos? Listen, guys. I don't know all your fucking fancy popsicles. I'm just talking about, you know, the Flintstones popsicle that I pulled out of the fucking freezer that tastes like vitamins or something, okay? I don't know, like, all this fancy shit. All right, I, I, I've only lived barely. Me, Milo? The yogurt thing? No, Milo. Choc chocolate milk? Is that the chocolate milk stuff? Milo, Mi Milo, chocolate milk? Popsicle? What? I, how would I have had Milo in my lifetime? I don't fucking, it's not like in Singapore or Australia or something. Like, what? Well, well, that's like saying, well, I, I've had the desk quick pops, popsicle. There's no way that's here. I like fudge sickles. I like fudge sickles. Those are good. I like the, yeah, I like the Spongebob popsicle that the ice cream man gives with the gumball eyeballs. I actually do like those. I actually do like those. Yes, yes, bun. Yes, yes. Those are actually good. Why are those actually good? Should we move clip six or two months? Thanks, pal. Good to see ya. Marshwam, thank you. A fudge pop and a creamsicle. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I won't put it in D tier. Listen, when I was talking about popsicles, I was thinking of like an icy thing that's fr fruit flavored and it's just, you know, boring. But if we're going to go into like, you know, the ice cream man that gives the ice cream popsicle, that's more ice cream than his popsicle. And we go into fudge sickles and we go into creamsicles. Okay, fucking fine. I'll put it in B tier and it's a head of candy. Okay, done. Done. If we go like that. I'll tear cover in 30 seconds. Oh, shit. I'll, I'll redirect into him. He'll be talking about his cover. We're, we're almost done. S'mores. I hate... I do not like marshmallows at all. Hate's a strong word. I don't like using the word hate. I do not like marshmallows. But... In s'mores, they're the best fucking thing ever. And that's why it's going up in the B tier. I think s'mores are solid. I think it's a fun little weird thing. Um, they're really dry. They're a little too dry. Um, I think they're a mess, and I don't like how messy they are. But, you know, at the end of the day, they are still tasty. Um, I like s'mores in its own little way. And that's that. I, you know, I think I think the chocolate that you use for s'mores, you can use the bad, you know, kind of barfy acidic chocolates because I think they're actually complementary in s'mores. And I think that's the only time they're actually really, really good. And I can't really explain it. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't really make sense. But, you know, who am I to argue with science? Tiramisu. This thing got shrunk. It's tiramisu. You all know me by this point. S tier goes at the top. My favorite dessert of all time next to creme brulee. Creme brulee and tiramisu are my favorites. Um, I forgot to put creme brulee on here, but if it were here, it goes in S tier. I love creme brulee, tiramisu, based, best thing ever. So fucking good. You don't want, that's it, there's no such thing as a bad tiramisu. It's so good. Oh, where's cake? I didn't get, to, I didn't save cake. Okay, I had cake here. 
cake it was it looked like a birthday cake cake was here um that's also s tier cake is my favorite thing it beats brownies it beats cookies it beats ice cream it beats all of it tiramisu falls kind of into that kind of line of thinking but cake is my favorite i love cake cheesecake also love it cheesecake s tier beats everything else cheesecake cake tiramisu all of it s tier best creme brulee literally five year old shut up all right so let's review let's review We have inedible, tomatoes, pineapple, bananas, mushrooms, peas, celery, sweet tea, or whatever the fuck they gave me at that one Burger King. I think it was just a bad day. I don't think I want to change anything looking at it. D, apples, pears, pumpkin. I love pumpkin flavored things like baked. I, my mom makes these things called pumpkin cookies, and it's like pumpkin it's, it's like salt. It's like a, a canned pumpkin, and then she puts chocolate chips in it, and she bakes them. And it's my favorite thing. She makes it every autumn. They're my. F I fucking love them. They're like one of my favorite things ever. And I always ask her to make that during like autumn, like October and November. Like she, ha you have to make pumpkin cookies. She makes them every fucking year. They're so good. But this is a pumpkin and not a pumpkin cookie. For that, it stays in D, D tier. I don't know, pear? Pear's looking kind of good right about that. Look at that shape. My goodness, that stays in D tier. Apple tastes pretty much the same as a pear, um, but it doesn't have the shape, but maybe it's a little bit better. So they're kind of, you know, they even each other out D. Okay, fair enough. Um, shrimp. Um, oh, pumpkin bread, good too. Pumpkin bread, good too. Shrimp. Um... All shrimp I don't, I don't like unless it's tempura. Wink, nudge, haha. But also, it's true. Avocado. I, 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 I feel like shrimp avocado should be back here. Turkey. You keep it there for now. I, I do. It's, it's meat at the end of the day. It beats any vegetable. Hot dog. You can move up. Pie. You can move up because it's a baked good. Um. Yep. That's looking good. That's looking good. That's the definitive seal tier. Okay, so donuts in front. It's beating muffin. Is muffin beating sushi? No, sushi goes ahead. Is muffin beating egg? Egg stays. Is egg beating pork? No, pork moves up. Is muffin beating pork? Pork moves up. Is pork beating sushi? Pork moves up. Pork beating donut. No, no. Watermelon stays. Cinnamon roll beats watermelon. Uh, egg beats cinnamon roll. Uh, popsicle goes up, stays there. S'mores goes ahead. Candy goes ahead. We, uh, yep, yep, okay. Okay, pork, pork, pork made a real big comeback there. Cinnamon roll goes here. Watermelon in the back because at the end of the day, it's still a fruit. So, you know, we don't want it to be too good. Okay, so A list. We have fish. Pancake, pumpkin pie, bread, crab, lobster, pepper, pepper. Okay. I'm going to move the sweet pepper down one to B tier. And go ahead, a watermelon. Uh, a chili pepper stays. It's hotter. It's better. It's tastier. I like it more. I like it more. So it stays in A tier. Lobster beats crab. Crab beats a lobster. Does bread beat crab? Crab goes ahead of bread. Does bread... Okay, bread goes ahead. Okay. Pumpkin pie goes behind crab and lobster. Bread beats pumpkin pie because it's bread. Pancake beat crab. Uh, no. Does pan... No. Does pancake beat bread? Well, they're both bread, but this is flavored bread, so pancake beat bread. Okay, we keep it there. We keep it there. Fish... Fish win all. Fish beat. Okay, fish win. Okay. Okay, so now here's the big thing. Tiramis... Hang on. There's a thing on my... Okay. Tiramisu! Uh, okay, let's start from the back. Macaron, does it beat ice cream? Yes. Does it beat cookie? These are all tied. What can I say? So we'll keep them in a big ball. I'll call them the dessert squad. Dessert squad, does it beat chicken? No. Does it beat... Okay, dessert squad. Does it beat cheese? Yes. Does it beat soda? Yes. Does it beat beer? Yes. Does it beat pizza? Yes. Does it beat potato? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. Potato needs to go really high up. Does it beat steak? 
I don't know. That goes high up, too. Does it beat broccoli? Yes. Does it beat onion? Yes. Does it beat Brussels sprout? Yes. Does it beat corn? I mean, I guess I'm a sweet tooth, so I just... I, it all goes up here. Okay. Potato strong, yeah. Tiramisu is in the rank of its own. It's my favorite. Steak, we put ahead. Pizza, it's like... It, oh, man. Pizza. I'm a sweet tooth. Corn beats Brussels sprout. Brussels sprout beats onion. No, onion beats Brussels sprout. No, Brussels sprout beats onion. Onion beats broccoli. Beer goes higher. Stops the desserts. Hot. Yep, okay. Soda, whatever. I don't care. Going back, it's just soda. Honestly, go down to A tier. Cheese. Cheese beat the... Okay, chicken. Chicken goes right next to... Uh, might, be, might be right there. Mm-hmm. 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 Analyzing. All right, which what is the worst opinion here? What is something that is just driving you guys up the wall? What are let's let's argue for a minute. What is what is something that can be you know argued? Where's waffle? I didn't save it. It's it's uh, waffles in nest here. Bread. Bananas. No, I, I'm not I'm not sh I'm not moving on bananas. I'm not moving on bananas. I'm not moving on bananas, so you're gonna need to try something else. Tomato. I'm not moving on tomato. Sprouts. I love sprouts. I'm not moving on that either. I'm dead. I'm dead set in my ways. Apple. Bread. Fine, 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 fine. Bread can go to S tier. Are we happy? Bread can go to S tier. Egg stays in B. There's too many variations of egg that I don't like. I don't like the egg of my ramen. I don't like her boiled egg. You know, I don't like any of that. Okay, bread goes in S tier, because it, okay, at the end of the day, it is fucking bread. You don't want to mess with bread. I get it. Update celery, you don't actually hate it. Fine, it's D tier. I agree. I'll eat it. It's just so bad. Honestly, celery can go up to C tier, because it's just mid, but I don't hate it. Mid, it's just so fucking mid. Turkey too high? It's in C tier! It's such a, such a shit rank! It's next to fucking... Celery! Watermelon too high? Yeah, we can move it down one. We can move it down one. The avocado. What, you want it in D tier? Celery too high now. All right, D tier. I agree. Asparagus then... No, I can say. Then watermelon. Does it beat avocado? No. Does it beat carrot? Yes. Does it beat asparagus? Yes. Does it beat cucumber? No. Because that's saying watermelon is better than... Well... No, no. Why is the shrimp... Like, the shrimp and the donut are so well... Those are my best drawn ones. Egg lower. No, egg stays in B. It's so mid-tier. Like, well, it's high mid-tier. You know, like, it's like... I need to try more over easy eggs and, like, runny eggs and shit. It's just... It's just... It's not great. Also, boiled eggs are just rancid. That's gross to me. I can't, I cannot take that. And it, it, it will not go higher than A because that is like A in its purest form. Anyway, I think my opinions have rocked today, honestly. Is everyone happy? Does everyone agree? We all agree, right? No, 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 no. I wonder, is there anyone here? Is there anyone here that is remotely like 90% like, yeah, I agree with this guy. Is there someone here that that's like 90% like kind of in? I agree. Who said that? Stella. Canis. There's dozens of us. Arna. There's dozens of us. Meow, Mazel. See? Or are you guys just trying to 
appeal to me and I don't know, it's worse, you know? Ray, thanks for five months. I agree with you like 90%, 93%. Dope, perfect. Just go, Pan. Thank you so much for five months. But looking back at the stream VOD, from what I've heard so far, I will see a lot of concern usage this stream. No! I think we did great today. Guys, this has been the food tier list stream. I feel, I feel good. That was fun. Wait, do you guys want to do more tier lists in the future? Is this something you enjoyed? Maybe I'll figure out how to use royalty-free images. Okay, we'll do more in the future. I feel like this is a, a resounding yes. And I feel like I really came into my stride with it. It is, it is, it is content that I feel like is good because there's like horrible opinions and ranting and, and thought processes, you know? stuff to do it it's the s tier stream can battalion make and post our food tier list using your art oh i yeah sure i i would have to post it wouldn't i ritzy thanks for three months holy shit 100 rev thank you emily this has been very educational in the worst possible ways thanks emily everything except for fruit uh reveries of fruit a fruit enjoyer okay courtney don't stop drawing or else okay maybe it took a long time. Miyamasal, thanks for five months. I agree 9%. Fish is just too high for me. Ah, uh, Murdabak, thank you. Keep using your drawings. It's always a masterpiece to see. They are fun. They are fun. They are fun. Oh, I could share the tier list. Yeah, okay. I'll work on that. Hectek, honestly, didn't think this would be so base. Thanks for the fun stream. Thanks, Hectek. Thanks, everybody, for coming out. It was a lot of fun. Guys, I, I, I think Altair just dropped a cover. So I'm going to redirect you into him. Um, Please listen to his cover. Uh, he worked really hard on it. I listened to it. He's fucking cracked. It's perfect for him. It's, it's a, I think it, it, it should be out if, if people are, are right. Um, so please go stream the cover and uh, go watch his stream because I'm sure he's doing a victory lap right now. Give him some support and love. Thank you guys so much for coming out and watching. It's really Shuali. Thanks so much for the super chat. Um... Oh, you drew Fry and Art for the first time. I hope you like it. I'll be sure to check the uh, the tag. Oh, by the way, there's like a whole August thing. By the way, great name, August. It's like it's like a, I guess like a, th a themed each day fan art thing until August nineteenth, I imagine. August, which is which is funny, like goose in August. I've, I've been I've, I've seen that. Um, right now they're like cute, right? It's like oh, a rainy day and classroom and sweets. And I was hoping like, I don't know if this is the plan or not. But I was hoping it's going to progressively get more violent and dark. Like, oh, this one's sweets. And then t for a week later, it'll be like, this one's the thematic of this day is horrible car accident. And then it's me like flying through the windshield. It's already settled. We'll see. We'll see what you guys. We'll see what you guys cook up. But that's what I that's what I thought, because like right now I'm like, oh, it's like cute and all that. And I'm like, what if it just gets like fucked up? As, as, as the day approaches, it gets more, it gets more fucked up, you know? Um, okay. Guys, thank you so much. Go give Altair support. I'm gonna drop an outro here. But guys, this was a lot of fun. This was a lot of fun. What, what, what a great form of battle content. Um, super chat reading, if I can muster it up today, it is just a super chat reading. I, I, not to discredit it, but you know, um, I could be flexible with it and it like, you know, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to do like the, uh, some fucking magnum opus for, for reading. So we'll see if I end up doing it today. If I do a waiting room will pop up. If not, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But we got our one stream out of the way. I think this was a banger. Uh, I'm happy with it. And I'll see you guys next time. Here's an outro. Go support Altair. Thank you so much for agreeing with all my opinions. Better luck next time. Bye-bye. Fucking peppers of fruit. Like, what? what the fuck? <laughs> Peppers of fruit. <laughs> That's, what are you, fucking idiots? I just... I don't know, it's just stupid. It's, yeah, I, yeah, I mean... Next thing, next thing you're gonna say, tomatoes of fruit. <laughs> uh.